Hello. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to day two and three of our Ruby Princess vlogs. We are on the Ruby Princess and this is C day two and three. Yeah. So this vlog might get just a hair long, but just a little bit. Don't forget along the side of the screen, I will post menus. I will post today's daily planner from the Princess Patter. Um, I will be scanning it because in the app, it's very difficult to kind of it kind of goes up and down and left and right and all over the place. So it's, I can't just do a digital shot of it. So I'll be scanning the princess pattern and putting it here. Just in pause so you can read. Yeah, there you go. And uh, like I said, anywhere there are menus, I will pop them up on the screen. We have not and likely will not be in the dining room this entire sailing. Um, for two reasons. One, we kind of like the freestyle dining where we just kind of Dine when we'd like, wherever we like. It's not um, Norwegian. That is Norwegian. <laughs> Norwegian. Shh. <laughs> and then um, also because, so we didn't immediately get on board and book our reservations. And now dining times that are available for the anytime dining slots are 8.40 p.m. late in the evening. And we not just, happening. no, we are just not late night eating people. One and two, you were usually in bed by then. <laughs> so, or soon after. Very soon after. Hey, we stayed up till 10 o'clock last night. You should be proud. <laughs> so, um, if you want, we'll be here at four in the morning, up and ready to and walk. Yeah, there you go. So, that is us. All right, you guys, thank you for joining us in this vlog. We invite you to subscribe, please. It is free. Don't forget. And um, I said that completely backwards. So, don't forget to subscribe. It is free. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We sure will appreciate it. Tomorrow is our first port date. Well, for you, tomorrow is the sea day. But then, following today's C day too. So following that is, I'm going to stop talking. So, <laughs> all right, off to the next two C days. There's Robert's Danishes. You guys be very proud of him. He has stepped totally out of his comfort zone. He would never have eaten that. And now he's found he really enjoys them. This is a gluten-free lemon Danish. And then I have a ham and cheese omelet, some hash browns, some bacon, and of course some fruit. They drove, drove me. They uh, walked me around the whole buffet and showed me what I could have. Okay, we are on our deck, and here is one of the medallion screens, and you can see it's completely interactive. You know, you can move with it, you can move through your day, and keep going. Now, one of the things I really like to show you is at night, when you go past, the ship gets dark and the lights come on, and then when you pull into port tomorrow, we'll, we'll have to go through the sea days, hold on. When you pull into port, it will show you pulling into port. See? It used to show this on the app, but now it does not. So that's Roatan Mahogany Bay. Now we are in port and the sun is up. I just think it's really cool. Anyway, so if you want to know what is going on around the ship, you can use this. This is also in the app on your phone, but I'm gonna tell you it's not, you see, you've got, that's my husband. It's not, um, it's not, in, it's not complete. So we have found that we prefer the princess patter in the cabin that your room steward will leave you. They're also available, they say at guest services. However, I have never, uh, I have yet to find them at guest services. So uh, that is not what Galveston looks like, but there you go. So here's day one, that's Galveston. Here we are today on a sea day. We are at sea. So, and then there's me and 
So when you're walking by, you can grab your turtle, you just click on it, and uh, it will open up your personal medallion network. So you can make dinner reservations. So say you wanna go to dining reservations, you just tap your medallion here or grab your turtle and um, you can log in right there. You don't, all you have to do is tap it. You don't have to put any passwords or anything. Just tap it. Honey, will you tap your? So Robert's gonna tap his and then you see it catches him. There he is. There's Robert. And now we can make dining reservations. We can, so <laughs> those are our passport pictures. You have to be so <laughs> sad looking. <laughs> you can type in your main dining continue in the evening and then here are the available times to select a time 520 in the da vinci dining room there you go and then you would choose your dining room and hit reserve you can also see the menu here so these screens are very very useful um you know again you can do all of this same thing on your phone okay this is a breakfast menu this is not a dinner menu anyway so there you go and we're going to close this out because i do not want to make a reservation so and then uh you can also uh, remove yourself just simply by walking away um, you can also hit my event see we just walked away and it pulled us out so there you go so there's just a little bit on this screen i know it's informal and there's much more to it we did just go to the see there's robert's seahorse you can grab it and that way you know where you are anyway but again when you're looking at this you need to see the finger you need to go up you need to go left and right um, and we are just not fond of this concept you miss things it's hard to find things it's hard to navigate through there um, I much prefer like carnival where it's just one screen and it's up and down and I know that they do this because you have overlapping times and things like that so that you can see I get that but this is just not it's not intuitive so and and it's not all inclusive that everything's not on there so keep that in mind and then here is another screen same concept on uh, this is over seal on the same floor we we're just over by the elevators where you can explore the different things on each deck so here we are this is where we are right here the laundry mat is here and you can press this and it will tell you how to get there you see it gives you directions on how to get there you can also choose find me you can see it in 3d you can do all sorts of things so um, it's very easy to maneuver you can also have this in your phone so if you need to go somewhere it will give you directions on how to get places in your phone steps. So, yeah so it's very this the only issue we have with it is the planner that's it everything else about this app is fabulous you can find your shipmates so say for example I want to know where Robert is well then I would scan my tag and it would show me where Robert is on the ship all right we're at the International Cafe just so you can see the choices here we have some apples and different salads here a couple of different ones and some egg muffins and we have gluten-free bread gluten-free apricot mini bite and a gluten-free blueberry mini pie bite and a lemon one so i'm gonna get a couple of them to try so we can try them. and then here on the other side we have some croissants we have some danishes streusel look at those delicious donuts and some muffins the socks and some egg sandwiches, which they do eat. Let's mix it up for Let's just go, yeah. Oh. Very good. 
All right. Very milky drink, this one. If you love that type of drink, this is the drink for you, the milky way martini. All right, so we've had two girls and two guys. Now we're looking for a guy and a girl. This is just snack time in the buffet. This is not lunch. It's just so you can come in and get some snacks. Some sandwiches and french fries. Those look like a ham and cheese sandwich. Hot dogs and fries. There's the buns. That's some sort of scone. That is oat crusted pork, uh, pork cutlet. Salmon. Mmm, the salmon looks delicious. Macaroni and cheese. Cheese sauce. It looks like lightened version of lunch. Snacks, Snacks yeah. So this is the in-between time that the buffet is open between lunch and dinner after lunch closes and dinner opens. So it's currently four o'clock. So we just yeah. So we just want to give you a little peek at it. And we stopped and got a drink. The pool bar has the big cups of soda, which is way too big for me, but perfect for Robert. So <laughs> that's all right. He'll finish off what I don't. <laughs> which will be most of this. Okay, we are in the sanctuary. So I want you to note that you can use the pool and all of this area without paying. You use that area for an upcharge. So just to be clear, just so you understand. So here's the pool and this pool is open to the public. You don't have to pay extra. You can just come back here and use this pool Okay, and then, but if you want behind in this area, that is where you pay. So, very nice, very nice. Up above the sanctuary deck and pool, very lovely, just right up here. Look at the views up here, this is absolutely amazing. Don't miss this. This is a great spot, look. I mean, if you could hear, this is a great spot to even watch movies. Beautiful. So we're headed way up there to the sports court. Let's go. Very windy. And that's where we were. Now we're up here on the bridge. I mean on the sports court. The wind, the wind. But this is what they have as the jogging track. This must be some sort of something. What is this? Putt putt? No. Oh, we're walking the wrong direction. I don't know what this is. It looks like at one point it might have been some sort of mini golf. chipping or mini golf, yeah. Wow. Oh, this is the place to see. Yeah, it was some sort of mini golf. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this view. <gasps> Fabulous. Ooh, I don't know. Is that a hot tub? That's a, like a plunge pool. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Gorgeous. This is really cool up here. Man, this is where you want to be up here. Wow. Look at the sun. You guys, it's a gorgeous day. It's not hot. Oh, it's amazing. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the dining, the dinner in the buffet this evening. We're just gonna run through very quickly so we don't hold up the line. Mm. Chicken sliders, grilled mini steaks, seared fish. Uh, what is that? Stuffed roast beef, mushroom. Oh, honey, you'd like that. Yeah. Stuffed mushroom roast beef. Uh, Moroccan glazed chicken, mashed potatoes, spaghetti, uh, pasta, um, vegetarian Greek meatballs. Oh my goodness. Rice pilaf, steamed rice, creamy cashew beef. The soups this evening look to be a broccoli cheddar and a 
I don't know, a noodle. So I'm not sure what soup that is. Potato sandwiches here have potato salad, Greek salad, German potato salad, chocolate cake, semolina tart, lemon panna cotta, gluten free, tartlet, mousse cake, vanilla mousse cake, salads. More salad. All right. And then over here we have Italian meats and fruits. But here we go, gentlemen. We're going to count down from five as we pour our first bottles. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is champagne waterfall time. Beautiful work. And right now we've got some music from Two Eyes, and we'll see you back here at 7 p.m. There's no video recording at all in the, in the theater, yeah. so we shall share with you exactly what we think. So I'm sure we're going to love it. Yep. So we'll be back when it's over and let you know how it is. We would like to remind you that due to copyright restrictions, the use of audio or video equipment is not permitted. And we also kindly request that there is no flash photography during the performance. It was a fun little show. I enjoyed it. I, yeah. I recognized probably 90% of the songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was probably from the late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. More probably late 50s. Yeah. And great talent on the stage. Yeah. Like singers, the, dancers. The, the four singers were very good. Mm -hmm. The dancers were very good. Yeah. The onstage band was very good. Really good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I would definitely see that show. Yes, absolutely. So don't miss it. Hello, oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Explorers and Ants for our Yes, No Game Show. What you're going to do is take a seat right here and have a conversation with myself or Joey over here. Now, you cannot say yes or no during that conversation. You can't say yeah. You can't say nah. You can't nod your heads and, and, and shake your heads in agreement. And the conversation has to make sense. We'll just, we'll just keep having a chat. We'll just keep going. Um, that, is, that is great formal wear to wear fish on a, on, on a full night on a princess cruise ship. Tommy, Tommy let, let me know when we're now. now. We're now. Okay, very good. So, do you fish for trout? You do. Do you like eating trout? Depends. You don't eat trout? No. No, really? Okay, that's alright, that's alright. What else do you fish for? Bass. Bass? Yeah, bass. bass is a fish? Sure. Okay, very good, very good. And um, how long have you been fishing for? About seven years. And how old are you now? Sixty. So you've been fishing nearly all your life? Sure. Okay, very good. You love fish that much that you have fish shoes. <laughs> oh, it did so good! This morning's pastry selection looks lovely. Here are the muffins and donuts and danishes for today. Banana bread. Wow, looks delicious. And then, of course, the standard breakfast fare that we have seen. All right, Robert. I'm so jealous. Okay, so he has a blueberry muffin, mm -hmm. a beautiful donut, a blueberry danish, and bacon. And I have bacon and potatoes. <laughs> we'll go down to the International Cafe in a little bit and take a look and see what they have. We're not ready for the day yet. Once we get ready for the day, we'll go down to the International Cafe, but I do have to say I am at my third cup. Carafe of coffee. Okay, we came down here anyway. Here's the Panal chocolate, I would love to try that. And look at that, Robert's gonna try that for us. And they have different donuts down here, and more muffins, and croissants, and banana smoothies, different sandwiches, and all these beautiful breakfast treats. Yeah. Well, we are in the theater. We're going to watch Ships Navigation, mm -hmm. uh, the view from the bridge. So I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe a little presentation on how the captain steers the ship. The amazing technology that helps navigate the seas. Yeah, so we'll show you little bits and pieces. Just something else to do on a sea day. You can yep. choose to do as much or as little as you want. Yep. Um, today we're going to tell you all about how the Ruby Princess 
guest to all these destinations of is Tommy. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? So, I'm Thomas. I'm, as already has been said from Aaron, I'm from Italy. I come from Trieste, a small city in the northeast. This uh, presentation I will going to explain you very quickly a little bit of history of the navigation uh, through the through the years. So the Titanic was uh, um, one of the biggest was the biggest ship on the uh, first stage of the 90s. It was named the unsinkable because of the. Um, the innovation of the compartment subdivision of the hull. But of course, I think that they think too much in advance because after just the um, third day of his voyage, boom, it went down. <laughs> Tea time! Look how beautiful everything is. Okay. And here's our table for two. Lovely, right by the window. Tea time is not listed anywhere except on your princess platter, which is left in your room, and then under the menus for each of the dining rooms or the Da Vinci dining room on this particular ship. So you kind of have to look for it, but currently it's three o'clock. So tea time is usually on ships, excuse me, on sea days. So today it is three o'clock, and I would assume it's probably around that time on most ships, two to three o'clock on sea days. They're bringing around little tiny sandwiches and cakes and scones. And look what Robert got. That looks delicious, honey. Yep. And if you don't drink tea, if you want something else, they'll bring you a soda. They'll bring you whatever you'd like. So just ask politely and they will bring it to you. It's been about 30 minutes and here at the scone. So it was very different on Sky Princess. They had, whoops, they had little sandwiches and they had cream for me and fruit and things like that. So I'm not sure if it was just a little too busy today or what. I don't know what happened, but I appreciate that these are here. They're nice and warm. So they're very tasty. I cannot wait to dive in. All right, it's time to try the salty dog. Very excited. And I spoke with the chef yesterday and I will be getting the bacon and cheese fries. All right, there we go. Now let's hope that this cheese sauce isn't <laughs> gonna make me sick like you did on Royal, but we will see. It gave me a headache, a gluten headache, because there was uh, yeast extract in it. This should not, they verified and checked for me. Tonight, Robert's gonna try the burger. No matter what, even if you just ask for a hot dog, they give you the fries, but there you go. He's gonna try his and mine are very delicious. So we had 18 or 16, the winner had 18. So not bad. Thank you so so much for joining us on these last two sea days we had a good time like i told you this is a much more relaxed cruise for us so there were more things to do during the day but we decided to take it easy and just relax and enjoy our balcony so join us tomorrow as we enjoy Roatan, Roatan Honduras, we will be in a private bungalow over the water. It is absolutely gorgeous. Don't miss it. We had an amazing day. So we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.